How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And if you're not able to connect to Binance while using a VPN, or if you're in a country where Binance is not available, as you can tell right here, I don't have access to Binance International or Binance.com. I only have access to Binance US, which is a lesser version of Binance with fewer cryptocurrencies available. Now, although Binance is a popular trading platform, it's still banned in some countries due to regulatory differences. And if you travel to one of these countries, you'll find that you're blocked from your Binance account and you won't be able to trade cryptocurrencies or access your money. Now, fortunately, with a VPN, you are able to access Binance International. Uh, but if you're using an unreliable VPN, you'll notice that you still won't be able to access Binance because Binance is detecting that you're using a VPN. So I went ahead and tested over a couple of dozen VPNs and I've narrowed it down to these three as the best overall for accessing Binance and bypassing such geo restrictions. And they all vary in budgets and features. So pick and choose depending on your own situation and what you're looking for out of your VPN and your preferences and budget, of course. So you've got Express, Nord, and Surfshark, and all of these will work just fine. Let me go ahead and just demonstrate with any of these VPNs. Let's just connect to the German server, for example. That's where it's available. Uh, and we'll just go ahead and uh, let me show you guys very quickly. Now, when I refresh Binance, I won't really have this uh, notification popping up anymore and I won't have to be directed uh, to Binance.us. I'll have full access to Binance International or Binance.com and Binance will not detect that I'm using a VPN because I'm using one of these VPNs which are undetectable by Binance since they are some of the best VPNs that you can get out there in the business. Uh, so yeah, you've got Express, Northern Surfshark. Again, Express will focus on ease of use and utmost anonymity and privacy. NordVPN is more of a well-rounded value VPN that offers a lot for the price. You know, you've got a lot of bonus features that can be very useful besides the VPN based features. And you've got Surfshark, which is going to be the best VPN that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost without necessarily sacrificing any of the uh, features that you need to keep your devices secure. And you'll be able to secure virtually an unlimited number of devices with just a single subscription, which makes it a perfect VPN if you want to share your VPN account with as many friends and family members as you would like. But if you guys are interested in learning a little bit more about about these VPNs with regards to their privacy policies, speed streaming, torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features, you'll find the full reviews down below. And you'll also find links to pricing discounts if you'd like to jump straight to those. Either way, they're all covered by 30 day money back guarantee. So you can test drive these VPNs for 30 days risk free. Otherwise, you can simply get yourself the refund if you're not satisfied for whatever reason. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.